Hey, glad to see you're still with us. I hope you're all ready for some advocacy. We already know that youth organizations have a vision which they want to achieve. But how exactly do they do that? Well, they either take direct action or do some advocating or lobbying. Making sure your organization is heard and how exactly you are perceived can be directed through different ways of advocacy. Advocacy sounds important, but what does it mean? By definition, it is an activity by which an individual or a group aims to influence decisions within different institutions. It can include all sorts of stuff, media campaigns, public speaking, carrying out research or lobbying. Lobbying, a method for advocacy, means persuading a politician or an official institution that a specific thing should or should not happen. For example, that a law should be changed. As we mentioned, advocacy is an effective way to reach your vision and actually bring about change. And the more youth organizations use advocacy, the wider the involvement of young people all across the society. We've all had the experience of not being taken seriously just because we're not old enough. With good advocacy, we can change that. Okay, advocacy is important. Does that mean every organization should practice it? Mm, no, it doesn't. The decision whether it is necessary and appropriate depends on your strategic goals. It doesn't really serve your purpose when your goal is to provide practical experiences for young people. On the other hand, you'll certainly need to use advocacy when you're representing the interests of certain youth groups. If you choose to advocate for something, you should firstly set your advocacy goals. Meaning, what do you want to achieve? That might be a tricky question. Generally, we know why we do something and why it is necessary. Often, however, it is difficult to put it in a phrase or a couple of words. Asking yourself questions such as what is the problem and how can we solve it again and again help to get brief and specific in your wording. Usually, the purpose of advocacy is one or more of the following. It is either achieving a particular decision in the lawmaking, for example, the Estonian National Youth Council advocates for allowing the right to vote to 16 years of age in order to engage more young people in the decision making. It could be about achieving a change in people's behavior and attitudes. For example, the Human Rights Center carries out a media campaign called Diversity and Riches to raise tolerance towards different minorities. Or it could be about strengthening civil society and democracy generally. Different organizations demand important decisions to be preceded by public debate and proper involvement of those affected by the decision. If you break down your goals deep enough, you will most likely end up with one of these three goals. Okay, your goals are set. Time for action. What do we do? Do we go to the streets or do we just try to talk to the right decision maker? Actions that work in one situation might not work in another. Therefore, it is important to map the decision makers that are responsible for the change. After having done that, the actual methods to persuade them can be chosen. If it's a specific person, then meetings and negotiations help. If it's public opinion in general, a media campaign could work. One more thing to bear in mind. Advocacy is more effective in groups, so finding allies with similar goals gives you much more legitimacy when promoting your cause. Advocacy methods include activities like participation in meetings, committees, negotiations, writing articles and appearing in the media, running an advertising campaign, and holding petitions or demonstrations. One last thing when playing advocacy. It's important to distinguish between your activities, results, and impact. You have to be ready to explain them all. Activities are the actions you take to move towards the goal. For example, drafting legislative proposals, meeting with politicians and officials, participation in working groups, and so on. The results are what happens because of your advocacy. For example, the adoption of a law in the parliament that takes your proposals into account. Or having increased awareness in the society. 
The impact is how life has changed due to the results of your advocacy. There may be fewer accidents on the roads or more young people involved in organizational activities. Whew, this was a tough one. Don't worry if it all didn't make sense in one go. You can always come back. Two down, two more to go. But for now, it is time to exercise.